Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. That's Peanut. I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure, where every day is an automotive adventure, especially in the honeycomb hideout. Yeah. All right, before we get into today's video, let's give an official shout out to the official sponsor. The graphic spot va.com, right where Peanuts pointing. Also, their Etsy store is going to be right there, too. Reach out to them. You need anything graphic design related, yeah. graphic related, decals, promotional items, hats. Uh, T-shirts, hoodies, yep. uh, what else? Yard signs. Yep, yep. Peanuts showing y'all some of that. Um, the graphic spot work right there on his hoodie. Um, you know any of that? Also, let, let's let's show him that hoodie again. Show him that hoodie. Hold on, hold on. Boom! Don't forget to uh, subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. But um, anything related to that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all reach out to them. You know they do great work. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, guys out there on the interweb. Got a lot of 2024 goals when it comes to promotion of your YouTube channel, your business, or even something personal. So reach out to them and tell and tell them that Peanuts Automotive Adventure sent you team running. Today's video, uh, we in the honeycomb hideout. Oh, go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do this quick oil change on Peanut. Can you lift it on Project Blueberry, our 2001 uh, Ford Mustang GT? We're going to go ahead and change the oil on it today because um, I've been driving it. Uh, so, you know, we got the, go ahead, show them the oil filter. Boom, Peanut got that AMZO oil filter right there, EO011. So, also, just to let y'all know, uh, Team EAO, -E my bad, my bad. Crew chief right here, right? He, he's on it. Anybody out there, on, uh, Team Run It, if you need any AMZO products, as y'all can see the yeah. banner in our garage, we can, uh, you know, we can bring them to you. You know, we can get you some AMZO products, you know, at cost. So, you know, if you need it, reach out to us, send me an email, whatever, and we can help you out. We can sign you up for an AMZO account in 2024. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give Peanut the camera and let him get his talk on while I sit there and do this oil change. And, uh, and then we'll go over some of the things that we have done so far to Project Blueberry, really trying to prep this uh, Mustang for autocross and a track day. When I say track day, a drag strip day, yeah. just to go out there and get a baseline on it. Um, uh, go out and autocross, have fun with it. Uh, that's what this car is for. Yeah. So that's why we're pretty much taking care of it, taking care of all its shortcomings and all that and upgrading things too which wasn't on the plan to begin with, but you know how it go team running when it come to cars. So let me go ahead and uh, give Peanut this uh, this camera. So, go ahead, you can show it to him. You can talk to him about the Yeah. Well, I'll raise this up real quick. Move it over, move it over for me. I gotta move this over a little bit. Oh. Sorry, can you run it? You got it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to him. Tell him what you got going on. Hey, how did spelling test go on Friday? Oh, oh. Um, did it go good? You think you got a hundred? I think so. Okay. Okay. Well, you studied for it, so. Well, the words are easy. <laughs> The words was easy? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The previous owner did uh, change the oil on it, but we're going to go ahead and change it. Yeah. You know, for autocross season. As y'all can see, the oil don't look too bad, yep. but we're going to change it. Definitely. We got it on the rack, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Yep. And also change. Hey, that rubber snubber's right there on the ground. See oh, it by yeah. your junior dragster? Underneath the... Yeah, that's the... Original snubber. Original snubber. From the rear. <laughs> Man, this oil looks good. But, it has to come out. <laughs> looks good. Looks yep. good. It's gotta come out. Gotta come out. Luckily, we just drove this car probably about an hour ago. Maybe a little bit longer, so. Yeah. Oil ain't too hot, but it's warm. We always like changing our oil with the oil a little warm. Yeah. Helps sediment move better, right? Yeah. If it bypasses the filter, hopefully it never bypass the filter. But what is this? I think this is a Can-In oil filter on this thing. This is coming off. I think it is. Which, we're gonna change it. Yeah, we're gonna change it to the DAO. 
and what is that, soil. 11? Yeah. Alright, right that time, didn't I? Yeah. Signature series 5W20. It should be 5W20. If it's not, we in trouble. Is it 5W20? Yep, there you go. What about that big job? 5W20? The same thing. Same thing. Team Run, that's what we use in everything from lawnmowers to cars. We don't care. And actually, yeah. his junior drags are going to get changed over too. Yeah. To the small engine oil. So we'll probably do that. Also, the golf carts are going to get changed over too. To the small and dual small engine over too. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, that's good because this oil wasn't that bad. Tighten it up. Yeah. Tighten it up. 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 Change it up. You got it on the rack. Might as well. Well, I don't know if I said in another video, our next modification is going to be lower control arms. We're going to change yeah. out the lower control arms on this and the front sway bar. We're going to go with a bigger front sway bar. Yeah. I thought about getting that kit for this rack and pinion. Thought about pinion? It. Right here, it's like it takes new bushings, but these bushings don't look bad. Yeah. See them right here? The bushings I'm talking about right here and right here. They really don't look that bad because sometimes these bushings be bad and you get that stirring slot in your car. But they don't look, oh, I'm sorry, Team Run. I'm sitting here hitting the frame. Um, they don't look that bad, so I might just leave it alone. Who knows? Yeah. But I know I'm getting a bigger sway bar. This sway bar is coming up out of here. Yeah. It's, it's like a pencil thin sway bar. It's coming up out of there. For the car can plant better in the front end. Yeah. And we can rotate the back. Plant the front, rotate. Plant the front, rotate. Mm. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. All right, so let me move this up. Next yeah. is this uh, oil, filter. oil filter. Which I'm holding the... All right, hold on. <gasps> Next is this oil filter. Yes, I can't. Right I need a bigger uh, okay. Then we'll drop it and put the new oil Yeah, don't drop it. Make sure you don't drop this wood. Don't get no dirt in it. No dirt. It's a 26. Oh, yeah. No. All right. Let's go ahead and take this wood off. Then I'm going to have to put, uh, you hold the camera, so I'll put the uh, oil, ah, I'll put the oil on the, uh, what's that thing called? On the actual gasket. Man, this thing is on there. Yeah, it's on there. It is on, yeah. We're going to get it, though. Told you. Got it. It's on there. Yep, it's a can, can and this is coming off. Uh, can in ain't a bad brand, but yeah. I'd rather just use the AMS oil. Can in's not a bad brand. All right. Come on. Okay. There you go. See it dripping? Yep. Let me let it drip a little. See it dripping. Nah. I want to wipe off that rat. Oh. one will go on. I don't Put know. Hand in on it. Oh. Yep. Okay. It ain't bad. Okay. Oh, oh, watch uh, yourself. Uh, Don't get it on the camera. Uh, it's coming down the oil. All right. Okay. So let me have this. I'm going to go ahead and put so, some fresh new oil and put this filter on there. And then we're going to lower it. Well, before we lower it, we'll talk about what I did so far. Yep. I think you report. Place the snubber. Yeah, the snubber. Yep, yeah, we'll show it. Before we drop it. Before we drop we it. Did we'll show it. it. Alright. 
get to do it first. I gotta remind myself to order another oil filter for this car yeah. too. Yeah. Do I got a rag? Yep, I got a rag right there. Yep, a rag. I can wipe all this down. Yep. Okay. All right. Oil filter's on. Okay. Let me get this wiped up. And we're going to talk about what all we done did before we dropped the car down. And put the oil in it so far. It's simple, team running. We what I did so far after driving it, you'll start, you know, road, I consider them road test. Yeah. Grabbing data on what else is going on with this car. Yep. Uh, when, when you start driving it, like last week for work, I drove it every day to work last week and just to uh, push it through its paces. And we drove it like an hour. We drove this car an hour away too, believe it or not. Yeah. So. So pretty much, I just want to make sure everything's wiped up. Because that's how you yeah. be fooling yourself, thinking you got an oil leak and you just didn't clean up properly. Yeah. Think you got an oil leak. Yeah, that's coming off and these are coming off. Real soon. Real soon. These are... Yeah, the control arms. Okay. We're going to go with new control arms. Oh, there's one other thing I got to watch yourself. <laughs> one other thing I got to wipe. This. Oh, Tina, yeah. anytime you change your oil, just wipe everything. The drain plug and everything related to this filter. For, so you don't think you got an oil a leak when you don't. You just did yeah. a poor job of uh, of cleaning, of yep. wiping up and cleaning. All right, so let me put this back. Yep. Let me lower it too. Let me put it back. And lower it. Hey y'all, this is from Harbor Freight, but this thing is great for real. Yeah. And when we pump the oil out of this tank. You, you hook your air compressor up to it, set it to about a low PSI, and that's what this is for. And you pump it into your waste oil. Um, oil, oil uh, if you got a bucket or waste oil, the, the old stuff, it works perfectly. All right, yep. Let me move this. I'm putting this. I'm just putting this over here. All right, here's what. All right, ready? Just put the cap on it for me. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got to move it. You're right, you're right. Let's so this move is going to be... Yep, you're right. All right, that's the battery charger. Okay. That's the battery okay. charger. Okay. Or safer. It's not unchanged. No, that's the battery charger. Remember, I got charged with the golf cart. Oh, yeah. All right, team running. We're going to go ahead and go through this with y'all real quick. Yeah. So far, what I did was I put a pinion snubber up here from Maximum Motorsports. Let me see if I can get them to see it. Let me see where you at. I, I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, right here, this. Right there where my finger's at. Uh, that's from Maximum Motorsport. What was happening was, since the car is lowered, when you hit a bump, I could hear the, um, that snubber. Original. <laughs> yeah, the larger one. Large. Hit the um, axle. Which so we went ahead and changed it out. You can right see where it was there. hitting. Okay. All right. And we did put new. Go ahead, shine up here. Go ahead, put it up here. We did put new O2 sensors in on the rears because we was getting the engine code for uh, the O2 sensors. I don't want to incriminate myself, but we did add something a little special to these O2 sensors. Two. We might have to two. change the catalytic converter. No, we don't now. This okay. catalytic converter, this is a BBK high flow catalytic converter. Okay. So I know the catalytic converter ain't bad because this car got too much pep to okay. have a clogged up catalytic converter. So yeah. we don't have to change that. Okay. This is like what you call an X pipe, BBK. It's, oh, look at that. I almost smacked something, didn't I? Look at yeah. That. Oh man, look at that. That must come from the driveway. Look at that team running. I've been hitting it a little bit so at the driveway. You know, when I back up yeah. the driveway, so I need to watch that. Pretty much Where those telling. rocks are. But that's pretty much it. Also, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the transmission fluid. I'm going to go to uh, an Amsoil uh, Dextron-based trans, you know, the fluid on this uh, manual transmission because transmission? fourth gear is very notchy when it's really, really yeah. cold outside, uh, when it's like 32 and below. So I'm going to go ahead and change it. I remember having a Fox body that did the same thing. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and change that out. I just got to make sure we got the fluid. If not, I'm going to... 
I'm going to order it. Yep. And we're going to change it. But once it warms up, that fourth gear notchiness goes away. It does. Yeah. Once you go through all the gears and whatnot, it goes away. But I just don't like that. And I remember the cure for it in that Fox body. It was doing the same thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to change it. But man, Fox. I got to watch that. I got to watch that. But hey, we, we coming along with this, right, Peanut? Yep. We coming right along with this project. I'm just trying to get this. I don't know what it is, guys. The worms. worms keep coming. Yeah, look, I done swept out the whole garage. I ain't gonna lie, it was full of worms and I swept them out. I can't wait to get that paved or rocked before they'll stop coming. But let's go ahead and close it out. Yep. All right, Team Running, we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. Just in the garage uh, today, working on this uh, um, New Edge Mustang, trying to get it ready for, you know, the first autocross. Yep. And we'll let y'all know when that first autocross is. Yep. And then, uh, what's that? You got the snubber? Look, he's he's impressed with that thing, y'all. I used to be too. When I was a kid, my dad would replace the parts on old cars, and I would keep the old parts. I don't know why, but I was just amazed at them. I would just keep them. So I know what he's doing. But, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to make this long-winded. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell like Peanut just stated. And this is Peanuts Automotive Venture. We're going to stay in this garage, finish up some of these little projects. Yep. And we're out. Peace. Peace.